Well, for most people, the work week is ending right about now. Maybe if you're on the West Coast, got a little bit longer to go. After stringing together five long days on the job, but members of the House of Representatives, they got to take the day off after failing to get its work done to pass a bill to keep the government running. They went home yesterday for a long weekend. So where does that leave us right now? Let's head on out to Capitol Hill, bring in Michael Schnell, congressional reporter for The Hill. Michael, uh, good of you to be here on a Friday afternoon. There is this stalemate, eight days to go until a government shutdown. Where do things stand? You're talking to folks up there. What are you hearing? Yeah, look, Blake, right now where we are, the odds of a potential shutdown at the end of next week are more likely than not. And it's because right now, as you mentioned, we have this stalemate in the House where the Republican conference has been unable to come to some sort of consensus on how to avert a shutdown by the end of the month. <coughs> Over in the Senate, uh, my, uh, Majority Leader Chuck Schumer has taken a first step towards uh, moving legislation to potentially avert a shutdown at the end of the month. But whether or not that will uh, receive, uh, be brought, be accepted in the House remains to be seen. So right now, uh, we have eight days until that shutdown deadline. There is no plan in place to avert a shutdown. A lot of things are up in the air. Michael, I can't help but notice where you're standing right now, it is literally dark behind you. Like, some of the lights aren't even on there. Uh, I mean, I've been there. It's normally, you know, buzzing, and here we are with eight days to go, and no. Um, pressure on Kevin McCarthy, from what you're hearing. What's it stand out right now? Yeah, I mean, an immense an immense amount of pressure right now. And McCarthy's in a tough spot because he has said time and time again, including this morning, that he does not want to see the government shut down. He has said that no one wins in a shutdown, particularly Republicans, when it comes to the messaging. But his way out of the box and his way of averting this shutdown really is it's tough to see right now because those hardline conservatives have said that uh, they will not support a stopgap bill to keep the government open under any circumstances. And they have said that if you work with Democrats to potentially keep the government open at the end of the month. They've heightened their threats to potentially try and confiscate his gavel by bringing a motion to vacate the chair, essentially forcing a vote on whether or not he should remain in the speakership. As you mentioned, it's pretty quiet in this building today. McCarthy sent members mm. home yesterday after they were unable to advance any of their spending bills. Uh, they don't yeah. return till Tuesday. It's going to be a real mad dash to that September 30th deadline. Indeed, Michael Schnell in the quiet halls of the Capitol. <laughs> Michael, thank you. Have a nice weekend. Meantime, the White House, House's budget office is telling government agencies to start making sure their plans are ready if there is a <clears throat> shutdown. That's a little bit of procedural, but it just goes to show where we are. Uh, Denise, what happens to Kevin McCarthy here? Kevin Car McCarthy was born into this role under pressure. This is so normalized right. for him. Right. I was at the Capitol Hill Club Gala, the Republican Club, uh, a couple nights ago, and he was out joking with everyone. All the people who weren't part of the factions were there. One thing they didn't mention in the report was that um, I was talking to some members of Congress asking them for something before I came on, and they said, actually, he's staying back. So is the Rules Committee, and so are the leaders or the individual members of the factions. So people are still actually working on this. And one thing they emphasized at the gala the other night was that there's no one issue that anyone's rallying behind in their opposition. Each of the individuals that are coming against McCarthy and, this, and really America, it, they have their own interests. And so I'm very confident that they're going to peel these people off one at a time and get them aligned to start doing the work of the people. What was this gala you're talking about? Uh, the Capitol Hill Club. It's just uh -huh, a Republican uh -huh. club. Uh -huh. yeah. okay, right. Republican club. It's all, it's all yeah. members. But, yeah. you, but you know, it's, it's, the only reason why I ask yeah. is because it's like, going to a gala in the middle of this, and you saw Michael's live shot, yeah. it's dark there. Yeah. Like, I get it that yeah. they're back, you know, doing the rules. Yeah, and I still got to you know, keep the lights on in the, in the, you know, the club. I showed up with The gala community <laughs> needs help. They need support <laughs> now more than ever. Yeah, they're making this out to be way fancy. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I'm not. It's, it, it just strikes me that, like, yeah. that, just for the folks at home, like, that stuff happens in Washington right. when you also see the picture yeah. of Michael. that's how work gets done here. Yeah. That's yeah. also, it's relationship yeah, building. This is so many members together helping each other and I felt like I expected there to be somber people they were all trying to fight together and get on the same page and supporting him giving him standing ovations and he seems okay they can do a gala sometimes you need alcohol to help that yeah they can they can do a gala I'm sorry go right no, no go for it they, they can do a gala they can sing kumbaya 
uh, Kevin McCarthy cannot get this deal done because it's oh, a huge will. conflict of interest. It's either he works with the Dems or it costs him his speakership. That's a huge conflict of interest. And it's baked in from how he got to be the speaker. Last and word. that's not changing. Two seconds. Having been in the House, most of these folks at whom we shake our fists, Senate and House side, are doing what their constituents have asked them to do. So what you see in the House, especially on a granular level, is the deep divide among Americans themselves mm -hmm. about what direction we need our government to They be. want, uh, these guys want to force McCarthy to use Democratic votes. Yeah. The, these five or six mm -hmm. members mm -hmm. want this to fail. They want to cripple McCarthy and they may, they may, At the may, expense wow. of our country, though. Uh, well. At the expense of shutting the they government down. They wouldn't say that, as, as a Congresswoman said, they think they're doing something good. Right. right. Well, they do. Up. Gold bars. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.